there are cases where you try to integrate functions and the denominator won't factor, not over the reals anyway. So what do we do? What do we do? Well, again, we play with the integrand so that the numerator is the derivative of the denominator. How does that help us? Well, you can integrate and get something involving a logarithm. So how does it work? Well, let's have a look. Let's have a look. All right, so if you try to factor the uh, denominator, you, you can't, at least um, over the reals. So what we are going to do is try to make the numerator make the numerator into the derivative of what's on the bottom. Okay, so if I look at the bottom, what's the derivative of x squared plus 4x plus 5? 2x plus 4. Do I have it on the top? No. But what? What? Yeah, what I can do is make that numerator into the following. So I'm going to bracket it and break it up into two, two parts. Okay, so... Now, with the second term, can anyone suggest something to... You know, some sort of method or complete the square, yes. So completing the square is going to be important for this second term. So to complete the square, you just look at the coefficient of x. That's, all, that's what it's all about. You halve it, you square it, and you add it and take it away. Okay, so let me just... This is a positive 4. You... Halve it, square it, add it, and take it away. Let me show you what I mean. So that's exactly what I've done. I've got a perfect square in the first three terms. Now you could argue, well, I can just break the 5 up and, you know, get 4 plus 1. Yeah, sure, you could do that. Okay, so now we can integrate both of those terms. The first term is going to have an integral involving a logarithm. The second term is going to have an integral involving inverse tan. Okay? So, so the integral is going to be something like this. So the logarithm <coughs> minus 3 times tan inverse x plus 2, plus a constant. Okay, so there was really um, two steps there. We manipulated the, denominator, oh, sorry, the numerator, and then we broke it up into two separate parts. 